Hello, everyone, and welcome to the program. I'm Sean Joaquin Baloye in Lagos. Running a nation can be quite tough. Maybe that explains why everyone cannot be president. There are many issues to attend to, and in good time, you will be expected to be extraordinary and be almost without a blemish. You will also be expected to lose sleep. Leadership comes with huge responsibilities. In summary, leadership is about sacrifice. One major reason why leaders are needed in every society is the people, or quote now, outsourcing or entrust a set of individuals with a huge role of decision making. So, President Muhammad Abouari recently said it takes his time to make decisions because he has learned from history. So please, uh, you are the sad group, maybe the 60th, 60th person, that I felt I have to invite you, let us eat together, and I tell you that uh, I am sitting here very much aware of the problem in this country, and that uh, I will always reflect on the historical antecedents. I decided to, to drop the uniform, come back, and eventually I am here. So really, uh, I have gone through it over and over again. That's why I'm not in a hurry virtually to do anything. I will sit and reflect and continue to have my clear conscience. I thank you very much for honoring my invitation. And I'm telling you that if I don't ring you or if I don't call you, it's not because for a moment I ever forgot how you supported me at one stage or the other over the years from 2003 to now. Well, then, how effective or fast are decisions made? That's one debate on one hand. Another growing debate is the possibility of a third force or those who are not career politicians breaking into the system, especially as 20, uh, 2019 uh, is just, uh, uh, just a, a few months away. Apparently, the debate is born out of the proponent's tartness of what some people would call the establishment and their resolutes to challenge the status quo. The thought first idea is already facing questions like, where are the structures? Our electorates are aware enough to understand it could be the birth of a movement. Will there be money backs? And who are they? Let's get into the conversation now. I have a leadership development expert. Mr. Linus Okori joins us here in our Lagos studio. Many thanks for coming on the program tonight. Thank you so much for Great coming. to be here today. Now, let's begin the conversation with what exactly would you say is Nigeria's problem as we speak today? I can tell you boldly um, that the greatest challenge of this country is the deficit of leadership capital is one of the problems but the major because everything falls and rises on leadership when an institution gets leadership right what happens is that the leader brings around him quality men and women who are, are who have the competences required to drive progress and that is why until we get the leadership quotient right in this country who might not be able to make the kind of progress that has been expected. There must be a sense of urgency because leadership drives progress. Leadership, when leadership comes and there's a sense of urgency, what happens is that everybody gets the heat because leadership makes the impact. It's big, it's large. We've seen a lot of the times in Nigeria where we have gotten some people who have referred to as a very good leader, tested in, in their own of private endeavors before they got into, uh, into government or into leadership position. But again, a lot of people will say, or some people who will disagree, or agree that there is a leadership problem. But some people who will disagree that, well, the leader you get is uh, as a result of the kind of society that you have. Uh, there are that two means types, systems. There are two types of uh, leadership most of the time that I like to talk about. One is transactional, right? When a transactional leader comes, it's like business as usual. But when a transformational leader comes in place, what happens is that the transformational leader has big dreams and big ideas, and he is ready to actually inspire the people. He's a dealer in hope. 
And when he comes in, he sacrifices, leads by example. And every single thing he says he's going to do, what does he do? He does them. Have and we... the purpose of that, basically, at the end of the day, is for the good of the people. And any leadership that happens and the people are not seeing the impact in their daily lives, in their standard of living, is not improving. I can tell you the truth, whether it's in a small institution, a local government, it is a failed leadership. Have we seen that kind of leadership in Nigeria before? I can tell you the truth of the matter. For many years right now, I've not seen the kind of transformational leadership that actually take um, people from poverty to wealth. You don't argue about it. It's like a beautiful woman. When you see a beautiful woman, you know, this one is beautiful. You don't argue, is she beautiful or How not? How then can we realize or know <laughs> easily who, which leader is best for a people per time? Um, the truth of the matter is that there are certain leadership competences that we talk about. You don't choose leaders just on one of the competences. For instance, you want to choose political leaders to represent a people. There are certain, like compassion is a skill that is important, like vision, integrity, and the leader's ability to work with teams. Is he a team player? Is he an excellent thinker? Is he someone that can mobilize the people, that is selfless, that is not thinking about himself? Now, when you have a system like that, a leadership that is derived from the hunger to serve the common good, basically, when it happens like that, people drop private interest. It's, it's and they take on the yeah. public interest. In 2015, a lot of talks about the present uh, President Muhammad Buhari, there's a man of integrity, he's been tested in this, he's been tested in that. Uh, in your own assessment, what do you think has gone wrong? Or what do you think is uh, your assessment of the present leadership that we have in Nigeria today? In my own thinking, basically, um, he came in with a very strong um, hunger for integrity and the perception that was all over this country and currently is that he has integrity. But integrity is not enough in deciding who is, that a man is a good man. There are other factors that are required. For instance, how does he choose those who are around his space? If the man is a good man, he has integrity, and those who are around his space do not, or, or people imagine that they don't have it, and the people don't trust those people who make decisions on behalf of the government. What happens is that there will be trust deficit. And once there's trust deficit, the followership cannot be inspirational.